All right, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor here, and we're coming into the home stretch of the uh, beginner's course, Bitwig Studio. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the course and uh, learned some new things. I know there's several different uh, educators out there on YouTube. I just wanted to have my approach to it, something a little laid back, something simple. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, looking at adding effects. Usually on my projects when I'm working, I don't like to add a whole lot, but I do like to put some effects on the master channel just to kind of keep things, you know, well limited and uh, just good to the ear as I work through the project. You know, everyone has an opinion on whether it should be left blank or something on there. And it's a personal choice. Just after you've uh, worked through a few tracks and spent a few hours in front of a DAW, everybody has an ear or a a way they like to hear things and this is just kind of one of the ways we can do that with Bitwig. So let's see, let's go ahead and uh, I think um, be good to start with over here on our devices we have our audio effects, instruments, routers and all that so we're going to open the audio effects by clicking on the triangle. Let's get an EQ in here and just go ahead on the first side here and give it a little high pass action maybe roll off and let's see I don't want to roll off too much maybe right around 30 32 somewhere in there for now and on the back side we'll just kind of brick wall this guy right around 18 Maybe add a little compression. starting to sound a little bit better. Let's see, I'm going to go back to the actual mixer and I want to see if we can put some reverb on our clap. Let's see what that's going to do for us. See, forgot to unsolo. One of the things you'll notice when you click on the actual effect or device or whatever you want, they've got all the presets that populate right below here. So I'm um, going to maybe step through a few of these presets and see if one of them sound really good for our clap. Kind of like that guy right there. Let's see what it sounds like in the mix. Yeah, sounds good. So let's see. We've got our little plucky chord guy here. Where is he hiding at? I think it's this guy right here. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Maybe add a little chorus, a delay. Get, get a little whiff going on this guy. Let's see what we can do here.
so not too bad. Got a little chorus, a little delay, kind of opening up that uh, plucky little vibe for us, giving the whole track a slightly different uh, and larger feel. Let's see what else we got we can work with. Let's take a look at this loop, see if we can do something with this loop. Feeling like I want to actually take the loop and the bead here and side chain it and duck the kick. So let's take a look at what we're going to do to accomplish that. Typically, you'd, you want to think, oh, I'm going to go grab the compressor and open up the sidechain elements. In Bitwig, however, you want to go and grab your Dynamics. That's got the sidechain element to it, and I'll show you how that works. So there you see it. Source, sidechain, device input. Let's go and find our kick right there. And we can choose pre or post, which is kind of nice. We'll go with pre. And then I'm going to turn the audio on here, and I know my microphone gets buried on that, but just kind of follow along, and I'm going to bend this down, and you'll see over here the expression of the duck. And I'll just do that to uh, my ear's content. So what you're seeing there when you're looking at this is the meter in the middle is the actual amount of ducking that's taking place. Let's take a look at that. All right, there's so here you have it. Adding uh, effects and elements to your track. Let's move on to the next video, and I think we'll be wrapping things up here shortly. Thank you.